Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Norman and today we're going to be doing something. I've done this intro like five times and I keep on stopping at something. So I think with an enthusiastic face, we are doing something today. I don't know what that something is, but it's something. We are doing something today, guys. I know it, I can feel it, we're doing something. We are doing something. Is the camera in focus? Is, am I in focus? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I am. Yeah, my hair wants to be weird today. I'm not used to this. Mm. I don't like the way it's turning out. All right. I think my hair is fine. Okay. So, now that it's summertime and school is over, I wanted to share what I did over quarantine time when it came to you know school work and stuff i was thinking about how for my sophomore year i made that embarrassing a day in the life of the sophomore and stuff and so i was going to be like okay what if i show them what the day in the like in the in the life not the like sorry and i was like okay so what if i show them you know the day in the life of my junior year the not the majority since you know we only went to lockdown in march but uh yeah of the pandemic and I, and I know at this point everyone is tired of hearing of the pandemic the lockdown everything but trust me on this i think it's gonna be fun uh one of my glare my cameras when my cameras are blurry all right so let's start with math so the math class that this work was for was uh, row two honors. Um, this was my second semester math class. My first semester math class was pre-calculus honors. Now, if anyone even bothers to watch this video, I will go into detail explaining that somehow, somewhere, some way my counselors um, messed up my schedule for my junior year and they put me in pre-calculus honors before algebra two honors. And algebra two honors, you, you learn all the stuff that you start uh, pre-calculus honors with and I didn't know what was going on uh, only a few of my classmates knew that I wasn't supposed to be there but I mean I self-taught myself and I learned a lot and for someone who didn't take algebra 2 honors before taking pre-calculus honors I ended the class with a 79 so am I considered smart enough okay so this is domain and range exponential versus linear Ugh, i hated this i hated this arithmetic versus geometric the repeating stuff the equations and all that more arithmetic geometric stuff Ge geometric sequences arithmetic sequences more of the same exponential functions yeah, so if I was going to go over all of it, um, generators, equivalent stuff, expanding, uh, fractions, the squares, factoring, greater than, less than, equal to stuff, inverses, logarithms oh degree of polynomials roots simplifying radicals complex numbers wow norman what a boring vlog yeah norman what a boring vlog we want more andy mac ah. my backpack <laughs> this has just been sitting on the ground since forever. Ugh. Ugh. I haven't even gone through this since March. All my stuff has been online. The only thing I had to write down on paper was math. <sighs> the last book we were reading in English class. Well, okay, so 
I took English 3 honors in my first semester. I failed English 2 honors last year, so I had to retake that class. Uh, long story short, I only failed that class because of three absences, which seems kind of dumb. I should have fought the thing in retrospect, but you know what? It's fine. And look, these, these were new books too. I'm the first one to have my thing on, but it, if you can see that. Well, you know what? At least it's not dusty. I hope it's not dusty. Can my hair just like figure out what it wants to do? If I'm burping, that means I need water. Make sure you hydrate yourself, especially with these 90 degree heat waves that we've been having recently. Okay. Uh, Cinder, this is not, this was, okay, so this is my free time reading book. I didn't choose this one up though. This was the um, book of a, we had to switch books with a classmate. And so the person sitting next to me, her name is Andy. And uh, this was her book. And I had to give her the book that I was reading, which was actually to all the boys I love before. Oh, I should make a Tando on the book and the, and I should make a movie reaction to the movies. Oh my God. Yeah, sorry, Andy, not Andy Mac, but classmate Andy. Um, I only made it to chapter five. I don't know. I guess I'll try to explain the, the book. It's like this weird future society, future country, uh, robot people robot viruses i don't know androids it says i mean it's a it's a whole series it's a, it's a whole series so i mean what is in this binder oh hello you don't have any bustles no oh yeah. yeah. uh, my back oh my god oh okay my hair is gonna be super messy this video i can just why just stick the way i want it to anyway this binder is or was my english binder so along with reading that cinder book we had to write stuff to prove that we read it here here we go so norman rodas start date march 3rd 2020 block one due date March 19th, 2020. My last day of school was March 12th, 2020. So it's funny. All right, book title, Cinder, The Lunar Chronicles. Arth author, Arthur. Yes, Arthur, let's stand the aardvark. Okay, author, M Marissa Mayer, genre, sci-fi, plot synopsis. 16 year old Cinder, a gifted mechanic is a cyborg, a Borg. <laughs> She's a second class citizen of a mysterious past and it is revealed. Or rev, 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 oh, did I say that right? Rev, reviled by her stepmile. Stepmile. Stepmother. That's what I meant to say. <sighs> Exhausting. I'm exhausted. I don't know how or why, but I am. But when her life becomes intertwined with the handsome Prince Kai, she's suddenly she suddenly finds herself at the center of an intergalactic struggle and a forbidden attraction caught between duty and freedom loyalty and betrayal she must uncover secrets about her past in order to protect her world's future because there is something unusual about cinder something that others would kill for i didn't finish reading the book so i wouldn't know sorry cinder uh let's see a poem theme for english b uh, the color of water study guide. I don't even know if I finished that. Oh, part of speech stuff. I don't remember that. I didn't do that. Vocab. Hmm. Reading schedule. I was definitely not on schedule. Literary devices. Thematic synthesis. Why did I say that so weirdly? Thematic synthesis eth essay. Eth 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 I can't, I can't, uh, speak. Syn, uh, synthesis, synthesis, synth, synthesis, 
Thematic synthesis essay. All right, there we go. I finally said it. Common lit, the most annoying thing on planet Earth. Common lit, common core, same thing. What is this? Office pass, all right. College planning, that's funny. Oh my God, my transcript. <sighs> the fifth million time that I've read this. What of this goldfish would you wish? Annotation, literary terms, the syllabus. What is this? Animal, animal farm. <sighs> what is this? All right, so this is from like the the first day of the second semester. Usually they have you write down like, oh, write down three things about yourself and stuff. What did I write? Norman Rodas, January 31st, 2020. People sometimes see me older or younger than I am. I'm a junior, I'm 16, and I turn 17 in May. People sometimes think I'm a freshman or a junior. Everyone in my junior class has seen my face before or has interacted with me once. Most people say I'm nice, kind, generous, funny, extroverted, helpful, popular by a few, which is crazy, uh, but mostly a friendly person. I still believe in that. All right. Two, I see myself as only a little bit funny, generous, nice, kind, and friendly, but not cool in any way. True. Three, how I want to be seen. I think people see a pretty clear image of me. I don't really hide anything unless I want it to be hidden. I do want people to know that I'm not an innocent, gullible baby. I curse and get mad and sad all the time. Cut. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I think these are traits about me. Weird, embarrassment, silent, uncomfortable, still. Sounds about right. Well, I'm glad I got English class over with and I really don't want to take English 2 ever again. Ugh. Ugh. Here's my math. My math binder. Why is it so big? Ha! Homework pass. I won this during. Oh, I, you guys can't see me. All right. I won this during Grudge Ball. Do nows. Reviews. 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 I know. More math stuff. <sighs> more math. Math is exhausting, but for some reason, it's still one of my favorite subjects in school and one of my easiest, so I don't know. Another blue binder. It is U.S. History, two honors. Let's see, Japanese American incarceration. What does it mean to mobilize? Timeline of Jewish persecution in Germany. European theater, invasion of Poland, the American mobilized from war, Japan, Germany, Holocaust, New Deal, Roosevelt, Depression, Paris Peace Conference. <laughs> oh my god, I think this is so funny. This is really funny. Oh my god, this is like going back in time. Okay. Well, first and foremost, I want to address this. This was, well, okay, so this, if you guys can see all of it, uh, we were supposed to go to the 9-11 Memorial Museum in New York, which is like a hour away. And that was scheduled for May, but we didn't go because the bus company pulled out. And one of my classmates was like, oh, it's because of the coronavirus. And he's like, no, it's not because of the coronavirus. It's because the bus company doesn't feel safe and stuff. Well, it turns out it was all because of coronavirus in the long run. Nostalgia. <laughs> oh, well, look what else I found. Pretty funny, I think. January 6, 2020, the New York Times up front, the race for the White House. Okay, well, Bernie dropped out, Warren dropped out, Buttigieg dropped out, Harris dropped out, it's Trump and Biden, so. 
this is a relic of the past already. <laughs> Selling this $1,000 on eBay. Who wants it? Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I can make something fun out of this. Let's read this. Oh my god. Why is this relevant today and even worse? We gotta help the Yemeni people. Yemeni people. Yemeni. Sorry, I said it wrong. Yeah, go help Yemen. I'll put a card in the description. Let's see. Indian teens study on the street. A girl delivers news to people's inboxes. Would you adopt a skunk? No. More Korean, less French. Ooh, BTS. All right, uh, should I help the cyclist who crashed into me? Is your half-eaten lunch harming the planet? Probably. Primaries. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. People care about New Hampshire? Only reason I'd visit New Hampshire is to visit Mount Washington. China's missing women. <sighs> Vietnamese missing women as well. Wow. A lot of issues in January. Top 10 countries with the biggest gender imbalances. Oman, China, Vietnam, Estonia, Albania, Armenia, India, Azerbaijan, Latvia, and Djibouti. All right. Sitting down to take a stand. 60 years ago, four black students asked to be served at an all white lunch counter in the South and dramatically changed the civil rights movement. Sucks that even in the present, we have to go through the same stuff all over again. Should the filibuster be eliminated? Yes. I miss social studies. Social studies was always gonna be a fun class. Except when it wasn't <clears throat> freshman year world history at you know who <laughs> more newspapers in my note in my uh my backpack so blah 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 brexit what is this nairobi uh terrorist attack cancer north korea doing stuff as per usual iran this all seems like it was so far a, a long time ago Oh, and how could I forget this? My, my pencil case. Me, lapises. All right. Okay. Wow. So this was an incredibly boring video. I'm sorry for those who had to suffer through this. Okay. I'm hard on the outside, but if you see the inside. And I can make time for your love. If you like this video, press like. If you didn't like this video, press dislike. If you like what my channel has, press subscribe. If you don't, subscribe to someone else. Stay safe and I love you guys. Follow me on Twitter at OfficialNormanR. And follow me on TikTok at Norman Ross. Uh, until next time, adios.